Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Goes upstairs for an elbow, and now some knees. Oh, uppercut to the head, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. His opponent was doing a great job of seeing the punches coming straight at him, so he changed the angle and came up through the middle with it. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. It's Good use of it there in landing that challenge. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, oh, I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. You take a look like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, you can hear the crowd reaction every time he moves. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Left hook, right hand. Oh, big left. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Beautiful strike. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. For a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBain. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introduce the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 30 wins, 19 losses, and two no contests. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, presenting the challenger, Andre the Pit. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. 
fighting out of Shanghai, China. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bass. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the night. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the title. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. He will cut below that left eye. Oh! Oh, for oh. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Just over 20 total strikes have now connected for the heavyweight Andre Arlovsky. Oh, nice combination there from the American top team trained Andre Arlovsky made his pro debut in April of 1999 and still very much relevant in this UFC heavyweight division. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh, very nice leg kick there. High level stuff. Spinning back fist. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Able to check that kick as well. Got the same collar tie. Ooh! And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Good body work with that hook by Arlovsky. Oh, beautiful placed hook there. He's connected on a few of them so far here. He sets him up beautifully. He always pivots. He turns on the front foot and he drives his entire body into that hook. Staying Six busy here on the clinch. Let's go, do something. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Goes upstairs for an elbow. And now some knees. Oh, uppercut to the head, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. His opponent was doing a great job of seeing the punches coming straight at him, so he changed the angle and came up through the middle with it. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. It moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Targets. Sight to behold. Well, you saw us referencing the tail of the take, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, you 
can hear the crowd reaction every time he moves. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, the difference in the strikes is crazy. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. And he landed the right hand there. So Arlovsky's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish his fight. Left hook, right hand. Oh, big left. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Beautiful strike. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the Octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. This contest at three minutes, 28 seconds of round number two. You're playing the winner by knockout. And...